Hi, I'm Cinnamon Cooney, your Art Sherpa, and today I'm so excited to be sharing with you that Pantone, the design firm, has released its announcement for this upcoming year's color of the year. It's Living Coral. I'm so excited about this because I love everything in the peaches. I love everything in the corals. I think this is a great color. This has been the really fun year, like wondering what they were gonna pick. And actually, I'm pretty excited about what they did select. If you've never heard of this, this amazing company goes out and studies the world for nine months of the year to pick your favorite colors. And here today, I'm gonna show you how you can make living coral yourself a fantastic dupe with just primary red, primary yellow, and titanium white. That's it, you don't need anything else. So get those colors, come back and meet me at the easel right now. We're gonna make this color. Let me show you how with just primary yellow, primary red, and titanium white, you can create a fantastic dupe for Pantone's Living Coral. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and it's probably gonna help you with all your peach, pink, and coral mixing as it is. So basically in this, we're gonna use a formulaic method. We're gonna say how many parts of one color to how many parts of another color so that you can create this easily for yourself at home. I'm not using a really, really expensive paint. I'm not even using really, really expensive pigments. This is abstract acrylic, which is a student grade acrylic, even though I do think it's a really fantastic company. And it's still gonna give me a very saturated color. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm going to take out my red and my yellow and I'm gonna make orange. Coral, really in its basic form, is an orange that has a bit of white added into it. So it's, it's a little bit like a peach, but it's just a little more like saturated, a little warmer, has a little more red to it. So to do that, you really got to create a very bright orange as a base. In fact, many of the recipes for the best corals out there begin with a very expensive orange pigment like pyro orange or cat orange or bat orange. Now, once I have that, I'm gonna to wanna to mix about 14 parts orange to 10 parts white. How do I do that with my palette knife? Well, I take out my palette knife and I do a bead and I'm gonna call that one part and we're gonna count out 14, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I get 14 parts of that. And then I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna get 10 parts or so of white, right? So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna grab one, two, three, four. See, that's a B five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So I have a nice little ratio of white to my bright saturated orange. I'm gonna incorporate these together fully and it should give me a really beautiful punched up pigment, right, right, right in the value range of living coral. Now, yeah, you could skip a step if you had pyro orange and just add 10 parts white to 14 parts pyro orange. But if you don't have that amount of money just sitting in your bank account, that might be a little bit too much. Now, once you have this great base coral, which it's already a pretty good coral, we're gonna kick it up to living coral. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna add another part of the primary red into it. So let's grab one part primary red and put it over here because I wanna mix it in incrementally so that once I hit it, once I see it, oh, once I'm excited about it, all right, let's give it a little bit more, punch, punch, punching it up. So when you're mixing this at home, as you're trying to find the color and you're looking at all those fabulous swatches on Pinterest and everywhere, remember what you're gonna be doing is going, does it need more yellow? Does it need more red? Do I need to lighten it with white? That's the kind of energy that you're looking for to create that. Now, there's gonna be a lot of great formulas for this color, but this gets you started on that creative journey. I think color of the year is such a fun concept because it talks about how we as a community celebrate and love 
color and I am excited about this color of the year. It's going to go good with my turquoise. It's going to go good with my greens. It's going to go good with all my favorite grays. So this makes so many fun paintings for the future. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And I want to see you at the easel really soon.